Uh, last week, there was a report called the Cliff Edge Report that was published looking into the interests of the live music industry, which in 2019 was worth 4.5 billion pounds to the UK. But since March, the revenues have been virtually zero. 210,000 people work in the British or the UK's music industry, 52,000 full time, and the rest either on zero hours or working as freelancers. 50% of those people working full time will have lost their jobs by the end of the year. 26,100 jobs have already disappeared. And if you consider the ecosystem around live music, from trucking companies to ticket agencies, from bus companies to hotels, the number affected in total is huge. The £1.57 billion recovery fund that the government trumpets mainly went to buildings and art centres and arts organisations. The reduction of VAT, which the Chancellor kindly gave our industry to 5%, is fantastic, but unfortunately, very few tickets are being sold because there's very little on sale. In the main, socially distanced concerts and events and shows don't work either emotionally, and they certainly don't work financially. We in the commercial sector have never been subsidized and we'd rather not be now. What we want is a target date to restart. This is something that everybody who works on our side of the world, from whether they're theatre producers or show producers, have been asking of the government. And you probably heard uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber talking at uh, Select Committee in Parliament for exactly the same thing. It's the single most important thing that we as an industry currently need. It's a target date to restart. By testing out a set of protocols, which then we can work with for the near future. Fast tests, visible results on, uh, on apps, cleaning of venues, sanitizing guests, masks or no masks. All these issues need to be sorted out and we have to work backwards from a target date to test everything so that we can finally have a set of protocols to evaluate them medically and, of course, financially. It's just not acceptable that when the government turns around on Tuesday and says, oh, you can start again on Saturday, that it works. We need months of planning. We need to get things together. We need to do what all normal businesses do, which is marketing, selling tickets, making the arrangements, etc. It just doesn't happen overnight. Once we have a, an approved set of protocols to offer to all promoters, then we will be able to be prepared, ready to go, with the hindsight that at any time, if, if the virus really gets bad, that we will have to stop at the last minute, but at least we have everything prepared and ready. And at the moment, we cannot get the government to focus on looking backwards from a target date. Panic moves are unhelpful. and We need much more time to pre prepare. So many factors depend on a thriving musical industry, the nighttime health of cities and the welfare of the public are all intertwined. So, my plea is, let us get back to work. It can be done safely. And just a few facts and figures about the state that the industry is in. Um, for artists and managers, there is currently a 64% drop in 220 earnings against 219. All these are against last year. Booking agents, 82%. Promoters, 78.4%. Grassroots music venues, 95.1%. Larger venues, arenas and stadia, 74%. Festivals, 90.2%. Ticketing companies, 86.7%. Technical suppliers, 95%. Crews, 
support staff, which includes ticket takers and people at venues, 87.5%. And professional services, which is lawyers and accountants, 52.9%. Overall, there will be 54.9% redundancies in our industry this year. So our plea is please let us get these protocols together. Let us protect the musical heritage that we dominate globally. And let us get back to work. We don't need your money. We want to work. Thank you.